What's going on guys, this is Peter here and today we are talking about another chest run, Raizu Palace. I have to say this place has become my new favorite place to do chest running and for a good reason. I think this is the first time that actually I felt like while working on these videos I made a nice profit. So check out these drops, uh, I got a Q9 20 slash 20 earth magic forbidden stuff. Many Oni Daggers and Oni Blades, a Q9 Coaster modded Golden Phoenix Blade and many items which are worth at least a dozen of Ectos. And this was the good news, now the bad news. The area is full of high level Shuriken and especially the Elementalists but also the Mesmers, Necros and Rangers are a pain in the ass. Uh, spell prevention is highly recommended, uh, some sort of blocking skill as well because the Rangers have a debilitating shot Ergo minus 13 energy each time a ranger hits you with this attack. And if this wouldn't be enough, the Mesmers have diversion and they can use it very frequently due to their high rank of fast casting. And one wrongly timed skill and you can wait 71 more seconds for your skill to recharge. The allies are simply pure DPS, Starburst, Opsiflame, Burning Speed. And the Necros have an elite which can deactivate you for 5 seconds, it's called the Veil of Doom. Essentially, you can die many different ways here, so some sort of experience is recommended if you want to manage this farm. And I had to modify my Dervish build too, the ranger's energy drain was so high, I had to bring uh, Marich Cloak and invest some points in Earth Sprayers too. With the shield set, plus with the high energy staff, uh, I was able to do the 1000 chest opens, but this wasn't easy even though I made thousands of Ectos meanwhile. So the run starts from Imperial Sanctum, the last mission of Kanta, and it should be done in hard mode for more chances for max modded weapons. Sadly Q8s are not possible because even in normal mode fools are level 28 and you know for the Q8 weapons the enemies around the chest must be between level 16 and 20. Concerning luck chest, most of the time I found 2 or 3, rarely 4 or, or only 1, but I'd say on average you will get around 2.5 chests each run in roughly 4 minutes, which is decent. Now let me guide you through the run. Um, heroes are great meat shields by the way, I like to bring them with me. They help in the first minute or so. So after the reason trick, start running straight down the stairs and keep left. Advice to rotate the camera and check for luck chests. Sometimes the chest spawns down on the right side. Many times there is a chest here at the assassin boss, sometimes a bit further back at the mesmers, but I will not go in, into this direction now and let's go to the beach area instead. I don't really use any spell prevention here because heroes are still alive and they would help me out if needed. No chest in this northern spot, now we can move on and keep southwest. First chest, no coasters, Mirage Cloak is enough uh, to tank the mobs. I like to run in this long straight path here, you can choose the beach area too, but that's more crowded. And I only go there if I see a chest, uh, this is the reason why I keep rotating the camera and checking every now and then the other side too. No chest this time, but at least we reached the resurrection shrine. Guys, this is important because the last parts are extremely difficult and you can very easily die in hard mode. But if you trigger the shrine, you will get resurrected here and won't have to run through the map again. Okay, the next part is tricky. If there is no chest behind the warrior boss, then simply turn back and keep left. But for my luck, there is a chest there now, so we got to activate Yulo mode. Feel free to pop a cupcake or some items which increase HP, energy or armor because uh, they will be of a great help. Now activate Shroud before you aggro the boss and use Shadow Form when the coasters arrive. I can give you a general tip here, the chest may spawn almost anywhere. Try to break aggro while Shadow Form lasts and rely on Mirage Cloak as often as you can. Sometimes I like to use a summoning stone to distract the mobs and give myself a few extra seconds. The chest is very close to the spirit of famine, uh, use death charge on it, open the chest and run for your lives. My shadow form is over now, so got to play it carefully and watch for the mesmers because they will use diversion all the time. Wait a bit and reuse shadow form and leave this nightmare place.
after the rest shrine keep left and maybe wait for another set of shadow form because the mesmers and necros will make your life difficult yeah i died here but the rest shrine is there so no problem another chest pr probably the last in the area and it was a pretty good run to be honest only daggers and the golden phoenix blade from only three chests and maybe check the last spot too and if there is no chest, type slash resign and you can do it again. Some final words, a very good amount of the drops were forbidden staves. And even though I didn't compare Raizu to other chest runs, but it felt like I got way more 20% half costing time modes here than anywhere else. Only daggers and only blades are on the second and third place. So if you want to get a nice old school only weapon, Raizu Palace is the place to go. Golden Phoenix Blades are also dropped every now and then and got 12 from 1000 chests and some bladed shields too but these were not as frequent drops as the other sought after skins. Plus let's not forget there are no shuriken armor pieces in the game so you'll not lose chance for a nice rare old school item because of them and this also increases our odds. By the way if you don't possess a dervish you can do this run with an assassin with a ranger and I'm pretty sure with many other professions too, but make sure to have some kind of a spell prevention skill in your build and some blocking skills. Guys, this was Rise of Palace, the fifth episode of the series. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and good luck with the drops.